today I'm going to play the hourly super blitz. And if this goes on YouTube, I'm going to timestamp every single game in the video description. And I'm planning to play an aggressive opening in every single game. So hopefully we'll have a nice mix of gambits and just uh, some entertaining chess. Hopefully some instructive chess too. But I'm going to play in a more attacking style than usual. The cow opening will wait. I did promise Anna Cramling I'll play the cow opening uh, every game in the upcoming title Tuesday. Okay, berserking. Let me lower the volume a little bit. And I'll start with e4. And we'll start with a Smith Mora, d4. Um, if the opponent declines a Smith Mora, I'll play d5, just grabbing space. There's already some traps. Like if takes, takes, I'm threatening queen e2 and d6 in some cases. So, yeah, this is already like very pleasant for white. I'll clamp down, preventing b5. It does resemble like a Benoni structure. Usually the Benoni is defined by black pawn on, on c5, white pawn on d5. Um, if I want to be aggressive, I got to play more quickly too. I'll play this move. And still developing. And now, yeah, let's take and I'm going to play d6. And this opens the d5 square for the knight. Also opens up the diagonal for the bishop. It feels very close to like winning something. Oh, my pawn. Oh, no. I forgot I blocked the defense. Oh, my pawn again. I keep hanging my pawn. In all seriousness, I think black's queen is about to get trapped. If queen takes pawn, there is bishop f7 to win the queen. And in this line... Wait, am I trapping the queen? Here, here, here. I might not be trapping the queen. But we're going to have some fun. I'll maybe be gambiting... What, two pawns? This is the only safe square. And black has to find this move. I think we're pretty much guaranteed to get the position after queen takes a5. And do I have any discoveries? Queen b5. Preventing castling. All right, let's cement the bishop in knight d2. So I, I am down two pawns here. But look at my godly bishop. You don't see the structure every day with a bishop on d5. And the pawn on d6. And it's so hard for black to attack the pawn because, uh, yeah, the knight is very far away from attacking it. So I'll castle. I'll probably go for the rook lift. I gotta still be aggressive. Or the knight lift. Okay, let's take and then rook a3. And now the plan is to swing everything over. And most of black's pieces are not defending the king. Oh, uh, yeah, let's hit f7. Okay, that was a fun game. Sacked a couple pawns. Opponent didn't fall for the... for taking the poison pawn, but... yeah, once I got the pawn to d6, life was pretty good. Yeah, welcome to more people. If you're just joining, I'm playing the... Hourly Super Blitz. Um, I'm not going to berserk this game. Maybe later in the tournament, if I'm like high up, then I'll start berserking and try and finish in first. But I do like having time. Okay, so this is a Stafford Gambit declined. Uh, I have this move. Yeah, let's be aggressive. If I have an aggressive option, I'll, I'll play it. <laughs> so hitting the queen... Now c2 is defended, but one idea is to play maybe this move. Does it work though? Knight d5. Maybe f5 first. I want to remove the knight. 
Okay, so I am gaveting this pawn. Ooh, wow, okay. <laughs> Two pawns on f4 and d, uh, f4 and e4. A knight's attack. Oh, fancy move. I'll admit, I kind of miss that. But I think it's okay, I'll play this move. I'm gonna be losing the rook most likely. But if white takes a rook, I can take and then threaten knight takes e2. So white might take the pawn here. But then I can develop. Ooh. So I take the... Yeah, let's take on c2 first. Wait, it's a, it's a confusing position. I could also play... No, bishop d6 doesn't work. I think I will take on c2 and then play this. I'm giving white the option what to take. I might be down a rook at some point if white does choose to take, but I, I should have compensation. Yeah, what a crazy position. There's a funny line. Queen takes e4, knight e3, and then bishop here to win the queen. So I'll play king f7. I mean, we both have knights all up in each other's cribs. But I'm threatening to take the rook. And now I win the queen. Yeah, this tactic was uh, maybe easy to miss given all the chaos going on. Thank you, Struggling Goose. Gifting to Harshit. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, let's play this. This is a fork, but it just loses a knight. And now I have ideas of this and almost trapping the knight. Not quite though. Almost trapping the bishop, but the bishop can retreat. Things are looking pretty good here. Yeah, let's get the rook into play. And if takes, takes, this is mate next move. Because bishop d3 is the only legal move. Okay. So we're getting some feel good quick wins. Matt asking for the hag face opening. I feel like that's not the most aggressive thing I can play. Not sure if it's going to fit the, the, the theme of the stream. <laughs> and against d4, let's go for maybe a Budapest? Yeah, let's go for a Budapest. I will try and play a different opening every game. Um, so this is a common line that sometimes white will play against a Budapest. And with this, I I can go for this and this. More. He is my support otherwise. Oh, thank you, Malcolm. I think I can play this. Most aggressive move to hit the pawn. And now, yeah, now knight a6. So the idea is to keep applying pressure to white's seemingly strong center. And now I'm hitting the bishop, and the pawn is capturable, I think. Because knight's pinned. And this might lead to more tactics because the bishop's not defended. So I might be I might be able to play this. Now maybe I should just trade. What to do? There, there. 18 whole months of dragons. Mmm. Hey, it's, it's I play Sicilian Dragon. Welcome back. Okay, let's keep the bishop. A nice piece to have. Now, if I play this, do I have to worry about the Greek gift? Also, I have to worry about my time. Did I berserk this game? I guess I did. I have an idea. This and then this. Or this. Actually, what's my idea? OK, 
Okay, don't mate me. Maybe this. So I do defend. I'll play much quicker. Mm. I really wanted to maneuver the knight, but yeah, we might be trading. At least I'll get a rook to e8, hopefully. Or not. Let's take. Yeah, rook e is coming. There's a funny idea. Rook here and then here. Oh, this move. Not sure if it works, but if takes, I win the rook. Interfering with the relationship between the rooks. And now I take. Still being aggressive. I want to play this move next. I have 15 seconds. Preventing rookie one. My pawn should be on light squares to restrict the light square bishop. Let's start pre-moving. Uh, a little bit slow. Ah, let's go. Okay, <laughs> one point six seconds to spare. Oh, man. Welcome back, Renz and Chess. When you had was for me. Ah. So much for the last one thousand five. Hey, happy fifty-one months. Chess. Okay. Ah, oh, what a thrilling game. All right, so we have G six. One of the most aggressive ways to play against G six is this um really H pawn push. Opponent's going for a hippo. I'm kind of gambiting the E pawn, but not getting that. Queen f3. Okay, I'm still trying to like mentally cool down from the last game. But I like this position. Some nice peace harmony. Ready to maybe, maybe pounce with this move. And now... Yeah, let's go back because the e pawn's hanging. Not f4 or f4 coming. f4 chasing away the knight from defending the pawn. Yeah, trying to manage my time a bit better compared to last game. Mm, let's play this. Attacking the pawn again. If the pawn moves, I play bishop f7. I think I'll still go for bishop f7. And then knight d5. Almost trapping the queen. The queen has to move here. Maybe go for d4. It's hard to be more aggressive than this. Do I sack the piece? There, there. 
let's move back. Maybe D4. Yeah, I want to open the center. In such a beautiful position. King does find some safety. I guess I have to be patient. It feels like full domination, though. It's just going to be hard to checkmate the king quickly. So I have to gradually build up. Now I have a hole to work with. This e6 square. A gaping hole. This bishop would be dangerous if there wasn't a pawn here. Now it looks like I'm guaranteed to get a knight e6 eventually. Uh, yeah, let's go for this. Oops. That's other bishop becoming dangerous. My rook is attacked. Okay, that was a small slip. This is not going to be easy. And the bishop is hanging. I mean, it still feels good. Just have to be a bit more focused. King moves here, I have knight c7. Now I'm threatening bishop e6. Could probably pre-move this. Yeah, let's sack the rook. So the other rook will come in. Oops. Forgot that I could do that. It's still looking good. <laughs> I have a lot of minor pieces. Uh, let's play this. Oh no. I hung, I hung my thing, but black didn't take it. Okay, that's helpful. Not the cleanest conversion here, but <laughs> getting the job done. <laughs> G7 coming. Where's my mate? Bishop D2 checkmate. Okay, another close call. Uh yeah, I got a little bit too comfortable with uh, the full domination in the middle game. That was a fun game, though. Okay, so 15 tournament points. Leader has 36. Berserk winning most of the games. Almost every game. 24 minutes left. Okay, I'll Berserk. So I... Played a Stafford declined, hoping for a Stafford accepted. Um, so now we have a symmetrical Italian, which can be hard to be aggressive against, but the one aggressive idea is this h6 g5 push, which I'm going for. And this pin is already kind of annoying for white. Knight d4 coming. Combine that with rook g8. Maybe I can take first and then... Yeah, I got the queen involved, got the rook involved, eventually take. Yeah, this this might already be like very bad for white. But I don't want to speak too soon. Take first, take. Yeah, so I'm threatening maiden three with check check and then rook g8 mate. Which yeah, white does not stop. Okay, so that worked out nicely. Yeah, when you think of symmetrical Italian, especially playing the black side, you think that it's going to be a, a long struggle to win. But as we just saw, the, my G-pawn saved the day. Uh, no berserking this game. Let's play uh, D4. Let's play an aggressive line within D4. 
I'll play knight c3, and we'll have Jobava London, e4. And now, uh, what's the way to play here? Let's take, maybe d5 could have been more aggressive. But there's still ideas of eventually playing knight b5 to c7, even if we do trade queens. So bishop d7. Bishop d7, knight b5. Can that work there, there? Because I'm calculating, um, never mind. Maybe c3 now. The knight's tied down to defending the square, so knight can't take the pawn. If e6, I play b4. If that, I take a free knight. Okay. <laughs> Winning in eight moves. Can't complain. Yeah, a lot of these games have actually been pretty quick. At least getting winning positions pretty quickly. Okay, let's berserk again. So if e4, maybe I'll mix things up. I could play a Scandi. I'll play a Scandi with knight f6. Can be a nice blitz opening. Opponent deep in thought. Yeah, it's already very complicated. It's a double edged arrow. Hmm. I think I'll play e. Uh, what to do here? Maybe bishop g4. It's a more aggressive option. So pinning the knight. Because white wanted to play knight c3. Okay, if g4, I win the rook. Let's build up pressure, threatening to take and probably take. Wow, both queens are hanging. Take, take. I think I'll play queen e4. White's queen is still hanging. If bishop e2, I think I can take what's happening here. There's also queenside castling, which looks really nice. Yeah, this is like a dream come true, Scandi. Like, very much developed. E5 happens. The D-pawn and the knight are pinned. The white knight's pinned in two directions. F3 might have to be played. Can I sack? Bishop F3. Actually, F3, I can probably play this move. G3 and then come back. Bishop e3. So I think the goal is to take, keep taking on d4 until the pawn takes back. And then bishop b4 should be pretty lethal. Or I can take the queen. Okay. Nice quick win with the Scandi. This is going very well so far. In third place. Still 10 points out of first. But... Staying clean, avoiding losses. Oh, I see a mention of the Tennyson, which my opponent did not play last game. Maybe I'll play knight of three. I'll go for a Tennyson if d5. If that, how do I be aggressive? Knight c3. <laughs> and e4, okay. So now we have a... Here it's bishop g5. Maybe I'll play this line with so with h6 included. I'll go for off the side castling. And maybe this idea. Maybe this idea. And e5 eventually. If black plays e5, it loses a pawn. So, yeah, g4 looks nice. Because I want to play g5 and open up some lines. Wow. Let's play this. Blocking the diagonal. Opening up this diagonal. And now if b4, my knight can centralize. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let me just put all the things on the king side. Like, I'm okay with the trade because black used a lot of time to get rid of that bishop. And the plan now is h4, h5. Got to start with gaining space in the center. And black's still fighting for sure. B4 may be coming. If B4, maybe I just ignore it. Play this move. Because I have three attackers against g6. And if the h file opens, then good things should happen for me. I'm just sacking everything. This better be mate. And if, if it takes b2, I play king b1. The king is actually very safe, using the black pawn as a shield. And now if takes, I sack the rook. And I think that's forced mate. And I'm threatening mate in one with uh, the double checkmate. So black has no time to take on d5. Yeah, 32 seconds should be plenty of time. Even if I had like two seconds, <laughs> it's maybe still winnable. Yeah. This is mate in a couple. Yeah, actually, I just needed one second there. Okay, so in second place. Still, okay, 15 minutes left. Um, I'll berserk back. Okay, we'll have a, a 90 second game. I'll play knight c6. This is called the Black Mustang. And I'll actually go for a reverse Grand Prix. It's a, a nice, solid, aggressive opening. Like, solid, aggressive maybe sounds like an oxymoron, but there's a lot of solid openings that are also, um, also lead to, like, middle game attacks. So my attacking ideas usually involve this. Knight d5 is kind of annoying. I'll play this, which looks weird, but just defend the pawn. And if takes, I'm happy to lift the rook. And meanwhile, I mean, yeah, let's just go all out. Connect four. I might be regretting this. It's super interesting, though. Okay, my bishop should be back here. No reason for it to be on b8. Huh. Yeah, I might be in trouble here. Take, take. I'll try this. I think we have to trade queens. Oh, this is not a good position. This is definitely the worst position I've had so far this tournament. Mm. I'm going to need a miracle here. Oh, no. I'm just getting mated. Any stalemate tricks? No. <laughs> I'm getting pawn me. Oh, wait. It's not over. Oh, 
I hope and pray. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, that backfired. Okay, still within range of winning the tournament, though. I'm five points behind. First place, oh, second place is on my tail. Oh, second place is the person who I just lost to. So that was kind of an important matchup. What to do? I wonder if I'll play this person. Or no, they're playing currently. Okay, less than 12 minutes left. The aggressive play won't stop. Even though I, I think I've lost rating points this tournament <laughs> after that last game. Uh, let's go back to E4. And, ooh, let's play Tennyson. Okay, let's see how prepared my opponent is. My opponent's playing the most common line, which does blunder the queen. <laughs> I'll take a pawn. Check. No mercy here. No mercy. Okay, my queen went on a rampage. That's how to detilt from the previous game. Yeah, I think that trap is also called the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. Maybe a nice um, analogy for my queen there. Okay, no berserking. I think this is the highest rated opponent I've played so far. I'll still try and play quickly and aggressively. Um, let's play Sicilian. Okay, this is the most aggressive line I know against the close Sicilian. I'll go for a quick d5. Ah, uh, opponent's going for this one. Um, yeah, this is actually a very tricky line from the white side. I do have to be careful here. I know taking the piece is not supposed to be good. Um... That's probably a good move. Maybe this move. Uh-oh. Am I in trouble? Queen h5, g6, takes, takes, takes. Take. This line looks fascinating. So first of all, I have this move. But I'm really curious about this move. Because I'm going to lose a rook. And then I take here. And then my knight's hanging, but white's bishop is hanging. I don't know what's going on here. But I can't complain. I mean, the, the style of this position definitely fits what I was going for. Um, can I sack more? I think I should save the knight. So I'm down, what, I have knight and pawn for a rook. I think I want a castle and just complete development. If white castles, I can throw in the check, unleash the queen. Yeah, knight defends the bishop. If white trades off the bishop, then I have uh, queen e3 check ideas. Queen e5 might be played. Then can I take on c2? Can I play this now? Now let's start with this. Get the file. Hmm. b3? Maybe this, going for a2. If king b1, bishop d5. Oh, but then b3, I think I'll still go for this. Because b3, we can c3. Now I, I just want to get a knight to b5. This maneuver is a idea. Let's 
So I'm I'm still down the exchange. But my knight could potentially be better than a rook. And yeah, the intention is very clear. So white might end up sacking back. Okay, it's getting tactical. Take, take, take. Can avoid the trade. Hmm. Go for this. If I take, let's just go for this. Yeah. Take, take. Yeah, White's going to sack back. Although then I, does it work? Because the bishop hangs. Yeah, I think White had to take here first because the queen's tied down to defending the bishop. And now White's realizing it. Ah, but it's still tricky. Take, take. Not sure what's going on here. I can't do that. Do this. Trying to play it safe. Oh, I had to hold on there. Oh, it's close. So this person, so the leader um, is no longer leading. It's a three-way tie for first, but this person's on the streak and they're currently in a game and they've berserked. Okay. So I have to, uh, I probably have to get in two more games. I have to berserk regardless. Okay, e4. I have to play the most aggressive I've played so far, which means another Smith Mora. But this time it's Smith Mora accepted. Um, what's the line here? Bishop f4? Knight d5. Okay, being super, super aggressive. Opponent doesn't take it. Um, let's go for this. I honestly didn't calculate this line, but it looks fun. Because uh, how does black defend the knight? Knight's pinned to the rook by my battery. King f8 is maybe the only move. King f8, knight g5. And knight is still pinned. Yeah, if we trade everything, king f8, rook e1 in the end. Rook a e1. Interesting. Threatening mate still. All of Axe pieces are undeveloped except this thing. Uh, let's play this. And then 
Mm, how to break through of this move. This person has 40. What's my quickest way to mate? Okay, this idea, let's go back. And this, I'd probably go for this. Knight's completely stuck. Gotta watch out for weird tactics with the pawn. Um, play this first. Give some luft. Oops. Yeah, this backfired. Oh no. I'm actually in trouble here. Take, take. That's a great move. Yeah, this game won't count for the tournament, unfortunately. Or fortunately. <laughs> oh dear. Take the thing. Oh, that's, yeah. Ah. Okay, good game. That was still a fun tournament. I finished outside the top three, finished in fourth. Last game actually didn't count for the tournament. What to do? I hope people still enjoyed it. I think this will still go on YouTube.